episode 38. The party have been exploring the cult of the reptile god. Having faced up with two powerful enemies, they have chosen discretion as the better part of valour and fallen back in retreat. Now they are moving through the corridors of the lair. We join the party once again in the lair of the cult of the reptile god. You may notice we actually have some theme music now. This was created by Gareth Argia. I like it. I hope you enjoy it. I vote for trying to get out and go back and rest. Pretty much used everything that I had on me. No. Uh, it's not very productive in terms of loot now, is it? No, but no. maybe die. we keep pressing on, the chances are someone's going to die. We've been very lucky so far. I think we could need to go out and regroup. I don't think we were prepared for how like tough this has been. I think we, you know, we kind of just waltzed in here a little bit, and I think it's certainly taken me by surprise how, like, yeah. Just like tough it's been so far. Okay, yeah, we'll go for a retreat. <laughs> retreat to the keep. Definitely like Monty Python. It's like run away and the holy hand grenade. Basically, been <laughs> the way it's gone. Okay. Uh, okay. So which way you go? Back through the back we came through the pool. Yeah. Yes, so. Yeah. I think when you reach the edge of the pool, vaguely grab it. Want to put the vaguely in the right place? People are sort of inside walls and stuff. I don't know if you want to. What order you want to be in here? Yeah. So you're gonna about to about to encounter a lot of snakes. No, I'm not. Snakes. Yay! Why did it have to be snakes? Okay, so, yeah, we right. we show that we can quickly and efficiently kill snakes. Yeah, so. <laughs> that should have been. That should not be a problem, for you guys. Right? We want to not go this way now because there's snakes. Well, we've got no other way to go. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the only way. We could go all the way round. Snakes are swimming through the water towards you. With how many, <laughs> how many extra fight? Because we don't know how many there encounters. Say there was a lot of snakes. Yeah, numerous snakes. I mean, they're, just, they're insta kills, aren't they? So we're just going to die if we go there. So I guess we've got to turn around again and go somewhere else. I think so. I think they're too dangerous to be honest with you. I've used the only antitoxin that I had now. We just gotta hope that this goes up round there and not just into a room full of snakes. Just more snakes. <laughs> yeah. Every round of a counter is just snakes. So then more snakes. I'm like, okay, more water snakes. Sure. You got it, boss? Yeah, so, come on, let's go. Did you want to try another way out? Yeah, should we try down there? Let's go down this way. And that's that's where all the lizard men went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, less uh, dangerous than snakes. Right. Think about this. Those lizard men knew you were there, right? They were like ready to attack you. They weren't surprised you were there. They knew you were there. So where did they, they come from? Them. Where did these Where did these lizard men come from that knew you were there and were ready to attack you immediately? Yeah. They, they came from. Past. They came from the yeah. entrance where all the lizard men were that knew you were there and were ready to kill you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to run into lizard men if we try and go back out that entrance. Well, what I'm saying is that the lizard men came from the entrance and came out there. There must be a way to the entrance that way. Mm. To the south, yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Go that way then. So you're going to like flat out leg it away from the snakes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Okay. The snakes are sl slow once they are on land and they will let you go. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where are you going? This, this way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go that way now. I'm doing that. Yeah. Oh, so you're, going to come, you're going to come around here and see that there is a corridor and it heads to the east. But there is also a left turn to take you north. I'm assuming you'll all move up and there'll be a torch there and stuff. What next? Keep going. Explore that left turn. Yeah. Left turn. So, Cantrip. Sorry. That, that corridor to continues to the east. Uh, but here is a large chamber with a big muddy puddle in the middle of it. And some <sighs> columns holding up the roof. Probably box text. This module loves box text. I can read, maybe. No, there is not. Okay. The high, really lofty, sort of high ceiling, 15 feet above, supported by these st these stone columns. Right. Do we take the risk that this connects up to here and then go through this room, or do we follow the corridor around? Have we'll a look in the room first. Can we see any snakes? Can we see any snakes? <laughs> you cannot see any snakes. 
But it's all the snakes you're not seeing that you should be worried about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am worried about them. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, so there's any sign of lizard men in that room? If there were signs of any creatures, I would tell you that. There's... Right. Like nothing obvious. I mean, what, what do you what do you mean by signs? There are no lizard men. If that's what you're asking. Right. <laughs> are there any Are there any footprints on the ground to indicate where the other lizard men went? Um, yeah, I think that there is. There's muddy footprints on the ground, and they. Where's my brown pen? They run like up and down like this. Lots of footprints. Okay, so they came of, through this room. And there are footprints all up through here as well, suggesting okay. they went that, gonna, they went that way. Good thinking, I like I'm it. I'm going in the room and I'm skirting around the left hand side, far away from the big muddy patch in the middle. All right, I'll roll another random encounter. Okay, I'm gonna bring the light into the room. So you move around the room. I'm guessing you're gonna just like skirt around the room. So I'm gonna take ten minutes on the clock there and just reveal the room. Didn't have a random encounter in there. Yeah, and nothing happened. What's the step in the middle? Mud. Just p plain mud. As far as you know, you haven't been in it or anything. It just looks like a big muddy patch. Don't disturb it. It's full mm -hmm. of snakes. It's got lots of it's got lots of lizard man footprints all through it. So it's probably not like a trap as such because they run through it. But who knows with lizard men? Did you say shoes? I don't think they're wearing shoes. They. <laughs> Bare feet, better for oh. swimming, because they jump in and swim. They got to have their flippers ready. That's fair enough. I've got shoes, and I don't want to get them muddy. So yeah, I'm going around. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing you'll go around that and continue to the north. I think by now it's become pretty obvious he's connected. All right, let's get into formation because there's bound to be loads of lizard men in the entrance way there. You yeah. cannot see any lizard men in the entrance way. That's right, what they right. want us to think. Well, it's what, <laughs> I'm just it's not so much what you want that they want you to think is that it's an objective fact that you can't see any. That's all I said. It's just a statement with a fact. <laughs> there's none. There's none. No lizard men are visible. Okay. Is that are visible? But that's. <laughs> do you want to get Rob? Do you want to get Bull a bit further forward? Given well, I, can't, I can hardly tell you about damage. ones that are invisible, can I? How would you know? Uh, yeah, I can do. <laughs> They're going to furtively creep up to the junction, and then you're going to look around. You're going to see no lizard men. Are you going to continue north and leave? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you leave. Leaving time. Oh God, right. we're here. The blinding white of this map. <laughs> it's like when I was watching June and then it kept being like bright and dark. Oh, uh, my eyes. Uh, okay. And I guess you just want to leave this whole dungeon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to the key. There's nothing else to look, else to look for down? in this place, really, is there? What's down yeah. here? What's over, what's over here? Is that That's where we where came from? came yeah. from. Good. Okay. That's the That's entrance the to the dungeon room. Right? Uh, just because we were all kind of around here, I thought, oh, is this, is this, is that we're standing on something. But no, okay, cool. That's the entrance to N1 against the Cult of the Reptile God, the module that you've just been in, published 1982. So it goes really old school that if you go downstairs. Upstairs ah. is mo more modern. It's more like old school renaissance. Downstairs <laughs> is old school revival. So, <laughs> same. <laughs> it makes sense that the undercroft would be like, you know, more historic. Yeah, exactly. It's going back in time. If you keep going down, you'll find OD and D, like original D and D at the bottom, and then like and then like chain mail or that Blackmore keep thing or whatever. Like it'll get to the original foundations of the uh, role playing. So. <laughs> I'm going to say that as a reward for Goring or Frankie keeping a lookout, that you've not hit any random encounters, and then you make it outside. And you're on the map. Goring's taking his grapple hook with him, by the way. Okay. And rope, just so it's one last thing that I've lost on this mission uh, of the lots of things that I've lost. Do not encounter anything on the road either, and you make it back to the key. Okay. Uh, 16 plus 19. Yeah, so you make it back same day, pretty late in the day. But you're, you're all good. Hey, okay, welcome to the keep. The plan to stay one day? No. Yeah. Oh, no. No, zero days. I need, I need more help than that. Well, fancy can do one ritual for like everyone during the day. Well, you've got back at like eight o'clock at night or something, nine o'clock at night. So I guess you're going to have to sleep, get up in the morning, and then if you, you, so you can spend time the next day doing that if you want, but that will delay your departure. It might delay it so much that you have to stay another night, I guess. So. Maybe it's a two-nighter? Two nights would work. If we stay two nights, I've, uh, I'm only one hit point down. That'll be all right. Yeah, two nights work for me. I've, I've got nine hit points to reclaim. 
So you can get on the second, the day off. Yeah. So you, can, look, you can get healed up with the ritual. Yeah. Yeah. It's just if you don't take a day off, you won't have enough time to get all your rituals in to heal everyone. So I think if you stay there two days, you can get all your HP back, which means it's the 1st of July. What? 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 Yeah. What? So two days. That's four. You've got a lot done in like three months. <laughs> we never have a day off. I don't know. Everyone must be a wreck. <laughs> Attribute damage to recover? No, just health. We try and redo that scroll. I don't have enough money. Why don't should... you eat the potion? Um, uh, 50 they are. Cool, take 50 then. Cool, cheers. Uh, so, what was it? 70 silver. Well, yeah, seven supplies and if one of those grenades if you wanted to get that back. Sounds like it's worth it. <laughs> if we have it. A... Oh, yeah, I've got to pay for a new grenade, haven't I? Yeah, if you want one. Yeah. 170. I. We'll be right back after I relieve myself. Minus 170 mission. Nice. Oh, no. No, because I lost my hatchet as well. So how many days do we have to... What, what's, what's the longest amount of days someone needs, basically? We were staying for two days, I think we worked out. Yeah, I think I think Matt... He's just, he's just gone to... But I'm, I think Matt had like eight HP to heal. Just... Yeah, so you get four for level, two days. Right? You get four back for two days rest because you get one per level on rest. And then Fancy, in the day in between, was going to do ritual healing. So Gareth said ah, that'll be at the end of that. Great, so two days is fine. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. So that'll be... It's been modest, isn't it? So that's... Minus 220. Can't deal with many missions like that. What's that? Minus 220 silver pieces for that mission. Uh, yeah, 110. Right. I've used up my cash reserves. I'm getting there with mine. I'm going to tantal my small change. Bonjour. That's what she said. Bonsoir, or whatever the hell we're at now. Bonjourno. Bon nuit, mofo. I don't think I ever got out of small change, to be honest. Because we've got this game set to marathon difficulty. That's why. Right. What is next? It's a word. Brilliant. That's it. You win. That's it. You don't have to play anymore. You've won the game. You don't have to play anymore. <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh, someone. We just lost someone. Back again. Is that because you won the game? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just <laughs> lost the game. Anymore, so. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone just lost the game. <laughs> I just lost the game, man. I'm sorry. I'm not playing that one. God damn that. <laughs> uh, it's doing so well. It's probably been several years. <laughs> oh. Are we going back down there or back to Stonehill? Or... Did everyone leave Royal 20? Or did your names just right disappear for no reason? Yeah, yeah I seem to be here on my own. Um, oh, okay. everyone's back again. Yeah, they, they did that to me. That's what was, oh, was you get for hosting everything on AWS. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we. Microsoft uh, uh, shit. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, yeah, the connection to the server has been interrupted. Anything you do right now, we'll attempt to send when you go back online. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a screen that says loading zero. I'm going to reload the page, and if it doesn't load, I'm not going to trust it. It's back. It seems like they have server and Yeah, it's basically, do we go back down there or to Stonehill? It's on our choices at the moment, aren't we? Ah, oh, Stonehill. Well, you could also go to the dragon's base and get killed by a dragon. <laughs> There's still, there's still some stuff in the scenic ca coves of chaos. Too. We haven't been to Stonehill for a while, have we? No. Probably replenished all of its beasties by now, so that'll be fun. It should have, but I never remember to do it because I can't be asked. So you're probably fine. I got better things to do on a Saturday than worry about restocking Stonehill. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! All this material, all this content. There's only, there's only half. It's only half of Stonehill going to waste, withering on the vine. So, back to the cult of reptile gods, is it? Where's this dragon? I don't want to see the dragon, but I'm just interested where it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see it. You can see him. Ralph Ralph down there. He ate Clive. Carried him off to his fucking nest up there. He ate him. I think it was Clive. Yeah, it was Clive. He bravely like sacrificed yeah. himself during the Caves of Chaos fiasco. So what other than the Caves of Chaos and Stonehell and potentially this dragon and then back to this reptile god cult? That's that's the options, is it? There's no like these this lizard mound isn't anything to Well you did have a rumour about some about some goblins attacking farmers, didn't we? 
Oh, yeah, the Hobgoblin we... rumour. Yeah. But yeah. wasn't that to do with the Caves of Chaos and the Hobgoblins in there? Oh, it, was, it was down by Whitesboro, wasn't it? Putting a marker on the map. Who's that? What's that? There's a hobgoblin thing you're talking about. Yes. There are hobgoblins attacking farmsteads to the east of White Sparrow. Well, that would seem like the right thing to do. Not attacking homesteads, I mean going to stopping them. I <laughs> <laughs> okay. clarified that because I was like, they're going to totally turn to a local crime. I knew it was only a matter of time. And they'll be back in the bandit cave. There was a time when I thought you were going to just totally abandon the keep and set up a bandit in the bandit cave I was like this is going to be awesome and yeah I considered it <laughs> well, that, it, that, it went over yeah. that was entirely um, for angry that that decision was entirely based on whether fancy hanged during that mm. yeah. fancy had hanged angry was going to basically become a bandit <laughs> yeah I mean there's quite a few choices to be fair I feel like I've, I've uh, been quite a lot of work there to <laughs> provide you with a lot of choices so Go back I'm happy that. with showing how all the hobgoblins or the cave we just came from. Don't really mind, to be honest. Out, should we check out these hobgoblins? That might be a change of pace. Yeah, let's, let's go investigate the hobgoblin area. How hard can hobgoblins be? Hobgoblins are kick-ass. They will <laughs> destroy us. <laughs> they will, though. They will totally will. Right. Oh, Gareth's got to find another oh, book now. That you got on the desk. What, what, what's your plan for finding out about the hobgoblins? Hmm. Well, there's a hobgoblin there. Let's go get him. He's <laughs> <laughs> giant, just... though. <laughs> He's bigger than the trees. That's just illustrative. <laughs> I guess we've got to go to White Sparrow and do some like asking around about the hobgoblin. Yeah, that. that's a good. That's a good call. Okay. They probably won't know anything. But... Wasn't prepared for this. Okay. Well, if it, if the attacks are nearby White Sparrow, someone's going to have some information, aren't they? Village of White Sparrow. It is only a rumour. It could be a bad rumour. It's like, no, there's no hobgoblins around here, buddy. And then we go somewhere else. <laughs> it's really the people of White Sparrow attacking the hobgoblins. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay. Then do we have to save the hobgoblins from the people of White Sparrow? Yeah, they they want to expand their farmland, and there's some innocent hobgoblins occupying the, the space. I'm not sure those words have ever been said before. We should just go going about the daily pillaging in peace, you know. Well, we should go into this with an open mind. Who says the hobgoblins are bad guys? You know, innocent <laughs> hobgoblins. I don't think those words have ever been used in conjunction with each other. Oh, it's hobgoblins always up to no good. Yeah. Wow, a bit of hobgoblin racism going on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not like an evil killing wizard, are they? Or, you know, like a demon. They are just people. Hob- yeah. Are hobgoblins people? They're humanoids. Uh, goblins. They're goblinoids. Yeah. Goblinoids. Are goblins humanoid, though? I don't think they are. They are humanoid, yes. They're, they're small humanoids. That just means like human shape. Doesn't it? It doesn't really mean a lot. Yeah. Mm. It a couple of arms, two couple arms, of legs. two legs, they walk up right. Head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hobgoblins have more of a propensity towards evil than goblins. Such a racist. Or a bioessentialist or whatever. <laughs> Xenophobe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty scare- scary and aliens. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh,. Are you going to White Sparrow to talk to people about the hobgoblins? Is that what you want to do? Or... Well, that's my thoughts. I don't know if everyone else agrees. I'm happy with that. Right. Well, first of all, you have to get there. Ah, uh, really? You get my measuring tape out. How many miles you go a day? I'm saying four miles an hour. What, was, what did we decide on? Four. I should have written that down. I should write everything down. Nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, something about a map. Everyone looks pissed. <laughs> Couple of days. So you're gonna have to camp out on the trail somewhere and then you're gonna have to pay the stay at the inn when you get there and then you can begin your investigations the following day. Is everyone happy with that? Or you can you can not go there now that you know that information. No, I'm happy to go there. What was this bit of information, sorry? It's gonna take a couple of days to get to White Spire. Ooh, how many um, 
two days rations, basically. So two rations. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. survive that. That's fine. And you'll yeah, and then you'll need to you reach there at the end. Okay, yeah, so, and then you reach at the end of the second day and have to pay for accommodation in White Sparrow. And then from the following day you can actually do something useful. It's basically it's the first of July. So you'll spend the first and the second of July travelling and on the third of July you'll be in White Sparrow ready to get started. That's what, fine. What I'm saying. So if one is just you can purchase all the stuff you can purchase in the key, probably more if anything. Okay. Yeah. You could just pay for the accommodation, pay for the rations, and not take the lab inventory because we can buy some more in White Sparrow. Yeah. Okay. Just in case we're out traveling for longer. Oh, dick. So, the next thing I'm trying to get a hold of here is what do we want to spend our time doing? Do you want to spend your time, like, are you interested in exploring White Sparrow or playing out White Sparrow in a kind of role play type of thing or are you happy to just be like i give you the lead and then you leave white sparrow and it doesn't it's never more detailed than that or what what do we what's everyone interested in doing with their time i guess does that make any sense like we could do a whole like you know, let's all pretend we're people exploring white sparrow and i could tell you all about white sparrow and we could get all these npcs out. or Ooh. we could just be like white sparrow you get the rumor and that's not what we're interested in so we've got the rumor and we move on we can, cast, we can customize the experience <laughs> Might be quite fun to do that for a change of pace, I think. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. talk to people for realsies. Uh, well, that's not going to get ahead of ourselves. Then we all realize we have to talk, and then no one talks, and it's like, uh, <laughs> <are we good>? yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'll probably have to like have a little read of this and think about it if you want it to work that way. Because I haven't really. Yeah. It depends how interesting you want it to be. I can just like make it up as I go along, and it'll be meh. Or I could read this and just steal some ideas and then it'd be slightly less of there. I don't know. <laughs> I could probably invent whole adventures. There are a whole like there's a whole book of like five E style adventures off of this thing. It's like Sly Flourishes thing, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Which I haven't loaded into Roll Twenty. They're like they're more like they're not old school, they're more modern, they're more like traditional style, like trad style role play. I don't know if that's really where we're going, to be honest. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Discuss. What kind of thing are we doing here? <laughs> I don't mind. I can happily fence. Let everyone else decide. I can okay. go with some some proper role play. What does, what does yeah. proper role play mean? Well, like <laughs> more like meeting people, meeting the shopkeeper, actually okay. conversing with them. Okay. But would it be like, it'll be like slice of life role play, not like. Yeah, yeah. There'll be no stakes or anything. No, I don't think so. Only unless you really insult them. Okay. You won't get any information. Okay. I think that's the other game that happens. Well, all right. <laughs> that guy just insults all the NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bit old. Okay. Um,. It'd be cool if I had this graphic uploaded, but um, I don't know. I can't really show it properly. There's like the, there's the village of White Sparrow. I don't know if that scans at all. Oh, a yeah. big hand in it. There's a giant hand. That's a thing that you might notice. A cyclopean hand. It's got an extra finger there, apparently. Giant hand. There's a keep just uh, out in the corner there. That's where the Lord is. There is... Okay. It's not it's not on the scale of the keep on the borderlands, it's more just uh, the central keep structure and not the curtain walls or any of that stuff. There's a church, which is that circle thing over there. Um and there's a number of buildings that you'd expect, like um, you know, the inn and the blacksmith and various businesses and stuff like that. And that is what is in the village of White So the is there a bakery? So basically, the inn, the only inn, there's only one inn, and it's the Summer Spring Inn, which I'm <laughs> assuming is that's where you're going to stay the night. Yeah, I mean, we lived here for a time, didn't we? This large two-story building. Some of us did. Seems to sit slightly askew, supported at its corners by heavy beams that keep it from collapsing completely. 
Whenever the wind blows, the whole building makes a deep creaking sound, like someone trying to get comfortable in a tilting chair. <laughs> and I imagine the bunch of you turning up, you'll rent out the entire place. <laughs> and there'll be no space left for anybody else. Or oh, you just sleep in a barn. You could sleep in a barn, yeah. Depends what you paid for and your living expenses. Okay. Who has been here before? Who was with us in the serpent team? Anyone's characters? Fancy. Uh, Fancy was here before, was he? he? He he's the survivor from the Serpent Kings, wasn't he? Why well, are you on your third and fourth character, Moy? Uh let's have a look for no one. Twenty, Beardy, and Joey. Fourth and fifth. I, I thought one of Pete's was here. I thought Neil had been here. No, Neil started at the beginning of the case of cats. Okay. So the the Summer Spring Inn is known for the hot springs that it's built on top of, and you can actually there are actually uh, baths there, like hot baths, but geothermically geothermally heated. And uh, which you you know it's um, complimentary to guests at the inn, so you can you can take a nice hot bath if you want to. That's the that's the bonus there. The innkeeper, Amanda Jess, is uh, runs the place with her three sons, and so she gives you a warm welcome and is pleased to see a huge bunch of adventurers turn up with loads of money and like <laughs> rent out the pretty much the whole inn. So. He's, uh, yeah, so you, you get a warm welcome there. And a pleasant time unwinding and trying to forget about all the horrors that you've seen, I, I imagine. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then you're refreshed and ready on the morning of the 3rd of July, I guess, to do stuff in the village of Whitesparrow. So, yeah, the, the principal and obvious things that you've seen as you've entered the town and been around it is the the Cyclopean Palm, which is a giant six-fingered hand rising out of the ground. That's pretty strange. There's the Ever Shady Tavern, which is, uh, you know, it's got a bit of a bad reputation, and you see some sort of unsavory characters hanging around outside it. The Summer Spring Inn, the way you're saying. The Greyhorn Outfitters, where you can, you know, it's general supplies and stuff like that. And uh, the Temple of Light and the Keep, White Sparrow Keep. Which you are where is the uh, seat of Lord Marlin White Sparrow? Oh, what do you all want to do? Would it talk to someone in the pin where we are and see if we can get any information about this bandit raid business? Yeah, totally. Totes. Totes, you can do that. Because I will. So yeah, so you speak. So you can speak to the innkeeper, I guess, right? Yeah, over right, right, a yard of ale. Well, yeah, see, so, yeah. <laughs> the night yeah, of your arrival. Right. Yeah, I love it. You just turn up and just start yeah. cracking up with the yards of ale. Well, I've, how many of us are there? Fourteen yards of ale, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna have to share because there's only one yard. <laughs> it's sort of more for special occasions, you know. You get all the spiders <laughs> out of it. That's two and a half pints, isn't it? A yard. Yeah, it's probably uh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe a tankard then. Tankard of ale. So I'm okay, disappointed. So one point <laughs> four liters. So. All right. All right. All right. Tankards. Three tankards. So she's like, "Good evening, my good sirs, and what brings you, adventurers, to uh, the whatever this inn is called? I've gone already. Like the Summer Spring Inn. We heard tale that." There might be some trouble around here with hobgoblins. Well, you'd be right. There have been some problems with hobgoblins out in the east, the east farthings. Right. Do they? Does I, it I seem a random name generator? <laughs> Carry on. I mean, do, are they tax frequent or? Ah, uh, getting more so. It used to be, it used to be unheard of. Old Tom's Tom's farm's been pretty much raised to the ground a couple of weeks ago. Used to be, used to be a safe place, White Sparrow. Does, does there seem to be a loss of them? I mean, why haven't the townsfolk rallied up and tried to deal with them? Well, we don't know where they're coming from. They seem to come out of the east, but we don't know where they're holed up. We're not about to go and uh, go hunting for them ourselves. That's uh, that's the job for adventurers. And she sort of looks expectantly around at you guys with all your weaponry no, and equipment. 
is there any kind of do you know is there been any kind of reward posted for for dealing with them yeah well, i mean i don't know he's just always trying to get your reward out of, out of me <laughs> <laughs> well it's we're good. we're only a humble village and not sure our resources are scarce especially with the hobgoblin attacks <laughs> perhaps you could try speaking to the sheriff ruth willamain she may be able to help you out there where is this burned down farmhouse but really we have to she is only a servant of the lord marlon white sparrow up over at the keep so what do you say rob i was asking where the burned down farmhouse is oh old tom's place yeah. yeah, and she just gives you some instructions on how to get there. Yeah. Gonna... No. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not going to ham that all out. <laughs> and she's, That'd be uh, happy enough to go to Tom's place so and she, have a look. She says, I don't know about Aurora, but certainly you're all welcome to stay here if you deal with the hobgoblins for us. We shall go talk to this sheriff. Oh, do we have to down our pints? Is that that? <laughs> oh, everyone no. going. Everyone's going. Like everybody files out of the inn. Like <laughs> I don't know how many of you are. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean does, does anyone want to? Well, well, people will file out. They'll file into I'm the sheriff's. Are, are we all going, or are we going to kind of go to different parts and see when we're getting any information? Does Fancy has to re- have to resist going to the bakery? What's he going to do past all these wheat fields? Oh my goodness. Luckily, <laughs> it's only July, so they're not really ready yet. <laughs> Might not stop him. <laughs> it's cold as <it's> like <laughs> just, just biting all this green like wheat. It's just <laughs> going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bad enough back at the keep. Whenever he's doing rituals, he's got like a mouthful of bread. Well, I don't know how it works with wheat at I don't know how it works with wheat, actually. Do you get two harvests of it? There might be some going on right now. Uh, uh-oh. I don't know how it works. I'll have to look into it. I expect not. I expect it's not ready yet. They're just living off the supply from the last year. I mean, he's not wrong. He always has a mouthful of bread every time. There's a, a lot ritual. of bread in the inn. The yeah. inn is a good place to get bread. Like He's talking this ritual and he's just spraying crumbs at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. So the... So the innkeeper's like, oh, can I can I get you um, anything to eat? We've got, um, as you list all this food, you know, there's like mutton and um, like, there's like a hearty stew and everything. And, and got, they've got a bakery on premise where they bake their own bread and everything. And... <laughs> bakery and, oh, and it's an inn for mm-hmm. that beer as well, won't they? Okay. Uh, Fancy is going to have to do his check. Yeah. Is it just specifically wheat? I forget how it works with you. It's a it's wheat based product, so the the thing yeah. said the, the, the Well the thing about White Spar is it's famous for its wheat beer, so <laughs> Well it did it does <laughs> the, the description does say um eat bread or drink beer. Yeah. Beer will mm. but wheat specifically no, so it doesn't matter if it's made of what it's made of, as long as it's beer. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, he just about makes it. He just made it, didn't he? He's just not spending oh, his day gorging himself on bread. So he's going to be able to contribute to the... Yeah. yeah okay. It's borderline, though. Like, I think <laughs> someone has to drag him out. <laughs> he's, he's just there, sat there going, Oh, bread, you say? <laughs> Someone's gra- an angry just grabbed him from behind and dragging him out the back door. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Okay, well, it's nearly, like, 11, so, like, maybe we'll stop. Um... Yeah, I don't know if you want to spend much more time in White Spare or not. I'm trying to gauge like how into it you are because I could, I could. Really intrigued by that hand. I don't know. It might not be anything other than they just made a big hand or something. But it seems like (laughs) what else could it be? But like, quite interested about what that is, right? Yeah. What the hell is that? What is it? I think there's actually like um. An adventure made by the guy that wrote this that actually goes into what's down there, but I don't have it. But I can probably figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. Well, you know. So, like, well, I mean, I could make a map of, like, I could upload this map and list some places you can go and, like, put some effort into making it an explorable place. But if you're just going to be, like, 
we get the clue to the hobgoblins and leave, then and that's what you want to do, then that's fine. I won't bother. I don't want to waste time doing all of that if they're not going to use it. It might be a good scene setter for the next one, though, to do a little bit. What does that mean? Well, just like you have a few encounters just to sort of get the session started next week. Okay. What do you mean, like a few conversations? Ah, go to the bakery. There's no bakery. It's built into the inn. All right, okay. We're not actually going to the so, bakery. So there's you're a bakery. Not. It's just in the inn. Yeah, it's you're the not. bakery. You're like Homer Simpson with those donuts in hell. Yeah, because there are all these like little adventures, but they're all they're kind of like 5e adventures. They'll basically be like really easy and give you loads of money for not doing a lot. And undermine yeah, everything that you've done. We need some of that. Some of that. It'll, just, it'll, just, it'll just undermine everything that we've done. Uh, it'll be all about fighting all the monsters as you encounter them one at a time in easily defeatable little mouthfuls. And then at the end, you go, Great, you completed all the, the mouthfuls. Here's the money. And it'll be like that. I mean, we did just get our butt kicked. Maybe we deserve one of them. It's kind of like like five E adventures are more like computer games where everybody's guaranteed to always win without really trying. You just have to yeah. think some time into it, and you'll always win. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's it's more for just having a laugh to do that. That's like and there's nothing wrong with it. Like it kills time. It's fun, but it's like it's not. It doesn't sort of test your skill. It's not like difficult. It's like a pretty much if you play it, you're going to win kind of thing. That makes sense. Mm. So it's a bit different. Yeah, I'm happy for a bit of more sort of looking into it next, at the start of the next session. 